Let's go through the basic of the brush tools. Choose the brush tool and be sure to have the right color selected from the foreground color box. To change this, click the color box, drag the handle, I choose a red color. And in this case, instead of drawing right on top of the photo, let's make a new layer. Click the new layer button and be sure that the layer is selected by clicking on it so it will appear darker. And then you just can draw on the photo knowing that your drawing will be placed in a separate layer. Drawing with a mouse isn't that easy, as you know, but I was hoping to try to make some kind of a Christmas hat. I click on the foreground color to change, change it to white. And let's make the brush a bit bigger. So we can have some white stuff on it. Here we go. So, oh, a nice Christmas hat. Click the undo button to regret what you've done or click on the layer, hold down your mouse and drag it to the trash can and the layer will be gone. Now let's take a look at the Impressionist brush tool. It's created to similar a fine art painting. I let the options be as is, the opacity to 75% and just click and drag it through the image. The color will appear as with paint. And you can um, change the options, the opacity, the brushes and try to see what effect you like. The color replacement tool will actually replace colors. I click on the foreground color box and I choose a pink color and then I simply, let's see, the mode I leave at color, tolerance 63 will be fine, I just simply click and drag on the yellow leaves, changing them into pink leaves. But to do this a bit more quickly, remember the selecting tools. Let's choose the magic wand, reverse the selection, and now I can just easily paint around, knowing that the blue sky will be untouched. It wasn't shown that much before either, but, but maybe you have another background. So I just click, drag to change the color of the flower. Here we go. The pencil tool next. It doesn't matter if you have a small or a large brush or pencil. The edges will still be hard. You can't get smooth edges using the pencil. You can, however, change the opacity and the mode. And by holding down shift, you can make straight lines. Let's change it to 100%. And this, of course, can be useful sometimes. In the brush palette, you have all kinds of brushes. And let's choose stars. And we make this bigger. And let's change color to a yellow one and just click and drag and that's less opacity and if I choose for instance there is a grass 
brush, this one, you will see that it will use both the foreground and background color. Well, just to have fun and make some kind of effect. And that's it!